This is a Chucky Beat production. What's up, man? Players, man, it's all 24 7. And with a game, you know, right now I'm talking to my dad. I'm talking to my dad. We're talking about things. And I'm just giving up 70 yard touchdowns. So it was one of those games where I'm trying to multitask, and apparently I suck when I play on the phone. You know, that's the narrative. That's the excuse I'm going with because this game just starts out like hideous. Just hideous, foreign out, people walking in untouched. I'm down 14 zip in the first minute. So I have to hang up the phone. You know, I mean, obviously the phone conversation was over. I didn't just hang up the phone with my dad, you know. <laughs> the conversation was over. And now I have to storm back. It was second down and 10. I take all the Brock Osweiler. You know what? If I can't throw the ball, I got to get the yards myself. Now this dude, he was one of those dudes where these are the type of games that make me really, really upset. Playing against the Chiefs. Because Jamal Charles, he just does things in this game that really make me really mad. He's just super fast. He's just super fast. And you have people near him, and he just blows past him. He just runs right past him. You have people. But this dude had all types of screens. I mean, look at that. Fourth down and six. <laughs> Throws off his back foot out of bounds. So this dude's passing game was really screen, run the ball, and I already came back. I already came back 14-14. I'm back in the game. But this dude, as I said, he had a tough run game, screens everywhere. And it was one of those games where you really had to watch out. Because look at that. Three people in the backfield. He ends up getting eight yards. So that's what makes playing that's what makes playing Jamal Charles so tough. Runs a screen and walks in untouched for 30. So as I said, he got wide receiver screens. Who am I tripping over? Wide receiver screens, halfback screens, all type of screen plays. You have to watch out for it. Third down and 16. Double team Hopkins. Just gross. That was just a gross throw, <laughs> fourth down and 16. Nobody even near him. You know, nobody even close to being open. And, you know, just all types of juries all around him. But look at this, though. Look at this, though. We end up getting a pick six. As I said, this dude, all his screens, no. No, I'm not going to keep giving up screens over and over. We get the pick six. This dude clue it, and this is why I don't use a Texan no more, man. This dude was a monster. Outrunning DeAnthony Thomas like it's nothing. And they cut him. They cut this dude. He's on the Broncos. Anybody trying to use that dude clue it. He's on the Broncos. Monster. But look at that user catch right there. Snag all over him, DeAndre Hopkins. As I said, man, I break down user catching. Be sure to check out Manitalk247.com. I break down user catching. Break down my entire offense and defensive scheme. And this was one of those games where as soon as I key in, as soon as I start keying in, okay, you like running this, or all right, you like running that, slowing the game down, and I was really able to take control. Look at that Dodaruski. Get off me. Will Fuller. This guy's been tearing up in real life too. Back-to-back 100-yard -back weeks and walks in for the touchdown. So now I'm up 35-21. I'm in control of this game, and we stop this dude. And he's out. <laughs> Stop the dude and he's out. Just look at those screen passes he's throwing. Nobody open. Underneath route right there. Fourth down and four. Ends up getting it. But he's not getting anything deep downfield. As I said, those screen passes, I'm all over him. Those swing passes, I'm all over that. The dump off, all over that. And he's gone. This dude is ranked in the top 50. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this game. And as I said, he was out. This is a tricky beat production.